Hey guys, RC here. The game just ended, so this is my weekly wrap-up for Leeds United. A 1-0 away victory over Sheffield United in a Yorkshire Derby. Very, very big win. We've taken six points from nine. Patrick Bamford with a late goal, a header to the back post in the 88th minute to secure the win. You know, I, I, I was worried about this game. Again, I I try to be very honest, and you know, with my head, not my heart. But I thought we were going to lose this game. I thought Sheffield United, they are in poor form, but I thought they were due. I think they still play more in line with what championship sides do. And yes, Premier League teams are supposed to be better. But when we're looking at how teams are playing, where I think Leeds is going to have success this year is going to be against the more aggressive clubs that play more attacking and a lot of times Sheffield had men back uh, playing deeper and doing what the championship did last year and that was packing the box putting multiple players behind the ball and really making it hard for leads to break them down use their pace and their their ball handling skills and you know, if you look at a lot of the, the outlet passes that go out to the wings by Leeds, a lot of those were intercepted today. And very good placement by Sheffield United's defense. Uh, so credit to them. And you can tell by the possession, 64% to 36%. They were not playing attacking football. Uh, they were certainly sitting deep in their zone, uh, content to let Leeds press the attack. And they were able to keep, you know, for the most part, I mean, we had 17 shots, nine on target, but again, so many people and man, that Rodrigo shot, I thought he killed that defender. I don't, I don't know the guy's name from Sheffield United, but uh, glad to see he got up and was okay. Uh, very disappointed that was, you know, to stop play. I know there was a potential head injury, but to stop play in the box with the, you know, with a team in attack, that's kind of rough. That's kind of rough. So I was not happy with that call. But uh, there's your game stats. Bamford with the winner. I think Ilian Meslier, the goalkeeper, was a player of the match for Leeds United. He had two huge saves. Very, very happy with those. Looking at individual players, uh, Rodrigo looked much better today than he has in his previous appearances. And it's only his third match with the club. It's going to take him time to come into form and, and really get into the system Bielsa has for Leeds. Jan Paveda, he looked really good. A lot of pace, a lot of pace and a lot of ability on the ball. I think what's going to hurt him, he's still really young. So even though he's extremely small... I hope that he can strengthen up a little bit because the one thing I see on him is he's pushed off the ball very easily. And all the pace in the world, if you can't stand up to a challenge or fight through a challenge, uh, you're not going to be able to do a lot. He shows some flair, some flashes, and definite brings something to that attacking zone on the right side. Uh, with his with his ball ability, you know, we certainly didn't see a let off with uh, him coming on for Costa late in the second half. But if he doesn't strengthen up, I don't I don't know that he'll ever take that next step. I hope I'm wrong because he looks like he has some class to him. Harrison looked pretty good. I'd like to see Harrison do a little bit more one touch than than sitting on the ball because his move is he sits on the ball and then he drives to the touch line and then tries to get a cross in he gets shut down on that a lot because people know it's coming but still good ball movement he has he might have the best first touch in the game by anybody by anybody bamford stuck with it the whole go but him and rodrigo looked really good i was kind of watching rodrigo and he was mirroring bamford a lot so obviously he's been training hard obviously he's been watching the rest of the team 
and kind of getting the movement down because a lot of it is pre-choreographed on how they move and how they intertwine and interact with each other. One person being out of position can make that whole thing fall apart. Great game, huge three points, huge three points. Currently sitting, uh, if we look down at the standings, currently sitting in sixth position. I don't expect to end up there this year. I mean, if we're being honest, I, I, I never expected... As long as we are, I think we'll come somewhere we may do better than I thought. But at the beginning of the season, I was hopeful for around 15th. We're only three points clear of that. So, I mean, one match right now can make a big difference. So we've got a long way to go. Tough, tough match. Don't we have, yeah, Man City coming up next, next Saturday. So uh, that'll be a tough one. Wolves won't be an easy one. And then uh, looking forward to the Aston Villa game on October 24th. Six points out of nine. I don't think anybody expected that. So we have really done a good job. The team has done a great job. And if we can pull, I think we set the mark for four points in the next three matches. If we can get four out of three, I think we're doing good. Puts us on 10 points after six matches. I think we'll be doing okay. Now, again, I am a Leeds fan. I would love more. I would love to see us finish in the top six and get Europa League uh, and maybe challenge for Champions League. But you got to be realistic, I think. And, and too many times, you know, we get carried away. You know, right now I'm just hoping that, uh, hey, maybe Tottenham and Newcastle can draw today. That would be good. And uh, Chelsea's doing us a favor. Uh, <laughs> and, of course, Man United needed, uh, what, 90 minutes of uh, stoppage time to get the win the other day. Uh, that, was, uh, that was shady. Big, big match today. Very happy. I think the team played well. Meslier, player of the match for me, as I said. Uh, Bamford just kept running all the way to the end. And if you're not familiar with Leeds, if you're just a premier fan, this is how Leeds plays. They will play this way all season. They will play all the way up to the final whistle. And it's, you know, attack, attack, attack. And you didn't see them pull off until about, you know, until after Bamford scored. Then they started, you know, holding the ball a little bit, playing it into the corners, just trying to kill some time. But, you know, they press the entire game. So uh, great job. Great job to the boys. Very, very proud of them. And uh, whew, hope they can keep it up. Hope they can keep it up. It was nice to get a clean sheet. That was huge. Uh, you may not be aware if you're not, if you didn't, if you don't follow leads. And if you don't, I'm not sure why you were watching this. But uh, if you, you know, thanks anyway. You know, we were, we were the strongest defensive team in the top four leagues in Europe last year. You know, we've got the ability back there. Robin, and what do you guys think? Robin Koch looked really strong today. I mean, he he actually took a ball off the off the body, off the arm, in the box, no penalty. So a no penalty game for, for our new center back. That was great. Urente, we didn't see him on the bench today, but, you know, that gives us some more depth in the uh, center back position. And I think he's going to push, uh, I think he's going to push both Cooper and Koch to be better. Uh, and I think that partnership will continue to bloom as the season develops. Dallas looked really good today. Ailing continues to get uh, the calls on the Ailing flop, which kudos to him, but uh, a lot of good balls, a lot of good ball movement today. The passing, I mean, 81% accuracy. That's, you know, they just looked a lot crisper today. And I think, again, here in the next two or three games uh, through the end of October, I think we'll find our footing and, and really come into form and at least be playing at the level and the ability that we know we're capable of playing at. Now, whether that turns into something, you know, miraculous or not, who knows? Didn't uh, didn't see Tyler Roberts much today. He was subbed off at the end of the first half, but I didn't see much of him in the first half. Calvin looked good, and I think Gareth Southgate was at the match today observing, and I think it'll be good for him to watch. And I know he watches all the games, but you know to watch Phillips in a system where Phillips is set up for success and to do what Phillips does, not what. Southgate had Phillips trying to do 
in his England debut. Uh, we've got to you got to put Phillips in that role. Anybody else surprised that Robin was in the center of the three center three back pairing? I was a little surprised by that, but he is. I, I want to say I, he's right footed. I could be wrong on that, but he is right footed. And so he couldn't play left. I think that uh, that probably made sense from that perspective. Uh, Alioski, how odd is it that two matches in a row he's been brought on? I saw a tweet earlier that he was the calming sub at the end of the match. Uh, I find that really hilarious. And uh, and we still have, I mean, Strike is on the bench. Shackleton's on the bench. And then, you know, we've got another international coming in to be on the bench at some point. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see who he bumps. I have a feeling it will be Leaf Davis because I think Leaf is our is our backline defender sub currently. But I think I think Davis is probably the one that loses his spot on the bench when Urente uh, comes on. Anyway, let me know in the comments what you guys thought about the match. Marching on together, boys. The other three points, top six in the table. See you guys next week.